Here's how you enter an equation in polar form in Desmos. The equation we're going to enter is r equals 7.5 over the denominator 1 minus 0.5 cosine theta. So r equals 7.5 over 1 minus 0.5 cosine and then watch this. I'm going to start spelling the word theta. T H E T A. And you can see that Desmos automatically puts in the Greek symbol theta, and there's our ellipse. Notice that the center of the ellipse is somewhere around where my cursor is pointing. And uh, we have two foci. One one is at the point zero zero, and the other one is at the point ten comma zero. Okay, so that is the way to do this. Now you can change things. Watch what happens if we change this. Ooh, we no longer have an ellipse. We no long, we now have a hyperbola. And notice that this number here in front of the theta, the coefficient of the theta, is greater than one. When that coefficient is less than one, we have an ellipse. When the coefficient is greater than one, we have a hyperbola or an hyperbola. All right, well, that's it for this video.